thank you on behalf of Canadians for your work that you do with the uh, Humane Society of, of Canada. Um, and thank you for giving me this award. And it is an award, it is for little things. I've done little, like, no big things, little, little things. But each little animal is, they're a creature and they deserve deserve our respect. So thank you for coming out today. Uh, Canada's true heroes for uh, animals in my book are the thousands of staff and volunteers who work in animal welfare. People like Michael, like yourselves. Uh, they protect, they shelter, they rescue, and they adopt uh, animals right across the country. But I feel truly fortunate to be in a position where I can assist them by supporting your work. Um, I can, you know, get publicity when I go to a Humane Society opening. We can get as many people. Let's get as many. We were in an event the other day. There was Liberals, Conservatives. It doesn't matter. We were all there for um, St. Catharines, the new animal shelter there. Animals have been part of my life since I was a girl growing up in the foothills of Alberta. I have to thank my mother for this. My mother was somebody who wanted to be a veterinarian and uh, never had the opportunity to leave and go all the way to Guelph. It was a long way to go. And uh, for a poor girl in a southern Alberta town, there was no way she could go all the way to... Then years later, I went to Guelph, and I thought, it's sort of a small town, but it seemed so far away and so big at the time. So my mother took in every chicken that nobody wanted, that only had half their feathers, or any animal that was injured or found, or in our town, if something was half dead and unwanted, it ended up at our place. So my mom taught um, how to... Uh, even, though, even though my dad was very quiet, because he would help too, but my, mo my mother was the one who um, uh, taught that and they also taught that compassion for animals is the mark of a civilized society uh, or in a, in a healthy society. Places where animals are treated cruelly, they also don't treat women very well in places like that, that either. And, or minorities or different things like that. So it's a mark of a civilized society to how that well they treat their animals and that goes into how well they treat their people. So, and that's a lesson that has been a guiding light in my life, and I try to use my bully pulpit.